Hi, I'm Charmaine James, and I want to talk a little bit about some of the things that you need um, to be aware of to have a saddle that works for you. Um, one of the things that you want is a saddle that doesn't have the seat that's up too high or too deep because you want to be able to sit down in that saddle where it can kind of hold you a little bit, but also when you're leaving the turn, something that you can get up in, okay? Um, and one of the things that will help you when you're leaving those turns and when you've got to put weight in your stirrups and stand up and go is having stirrups that won't fall out behind you, okay? So on this particular saddle, we've made sure that the, that the stirrups are set far enough forward so that when you do stand up in there, they're not going to fall out behind you. You want your feet to be steady and secure, okay? Um, one thing is that you want a saddle that's not going to pinch or dig in. So if you have a saddle at home that pinches or digs in right here on the withers, your horse could get real sore from it. And then you don't want one that's going to kick way up in the back. You want it to sit down pretty flat because when you're, when you're sitting in a saddle and, and I've gotten on, uh, students' horses before and I had been telling them, sit down, sit down. And, and they just never would sit down. But then when I got on their saddle, I realized that their saddle was kicking up in the back end and they weren't able to sit down. So if you're riding a saddle and you feel like you're having a real hard time sitting down, maybe it is your saddle that's causing you not to sit down because everything in barrel racing is about being able to get up and go with your horse and being able to sit down for the turns and if you're always kind of just kicked forward a little bit that's a big part of uh, the things that you need to make a barrel racing run so hopefully these tips will help you